Okay. Oh, whoa, my mate! Go, 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 go! There's a black bear, too! There's a black bear, too. Let's go inside of the workshop. Was that a good idea to get inside of the workshop? Is, can he destroy the workshop? So guys, it is me, Happy Sarkin. Welcome back to The Wild 8. The Wild 8 is a game that's kind of similar to Last on Earth Survival, except it's on PC, so graphics are a bit better. Or should I say they have, like, a bit different style? So in the previous episode, we came to this place, and it's, like, some sort of a warehouse, but we still have to follow the power lines. As it says here, find out where the power lines go. So I think without any further ado, we're gonna just leave this place and we will keep following those power lines hopefully no wolves are gonna attack me because in the previous episode i had to fight so so many wolves <laughs> we barely survived but a somehow some way we were able to survive let's get the stone pickaxe and i need to get some more ore just in case if i'll have to craft another fire or something because it required like three ore or something i don't even remember now here we go that should be enough we have 35 ore Let's open up the map. Okay, so we have to keep going now over here. Oh, no! The wolf looks deadly. Yes, he is. Let's try to equip it, maybe. Can I use the... I know. I don't know how to do it. Did I escape the wolf? Oh, I have no idea if I escaped the wolf or mobility skill. How did... What happened? What happened there? Well, I'll try to take this. And I'll try to take the pipe. Oh, no, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna go to a, now a different square. Here go we... More power lines. Yes, I... I think somewhere here I'll start, I'll maybe camp out because it's like 10 p.m. So I shouldn't probably keep running. Yeah, it's getting not, it's getting dark and I kind of start freezing. I kind of start freezing. So let's build a campfire over here. Very sick. And I'm going to try to build a shelter just so that I'd be able to spend more skill points because I've gotten some mobility skill points. So let's enter the shelter. And yeah, I have some gathering points. So I'm going to add more capacity probably. Because that's going to be very worth it. Here, go. I have more capacity. And let's learn even more capacity. Very nice. So my inventory is almost full now. I mean, we still can upgrade it to more time. So I'll have two extra slots. Now, to upgrade my mobility, I need to upgrade this shelter. And to do that, I require more wood and more ore. Which shouldn't be that hard when you think about it. So I'll try to leave this place and uh, perhaps... Wait, I want to get my axe now. And let's try to chop down a couple of trees just to get more wood. And I'm kind of getting hungry. So here we go. There's meat. Oh, it's spoiled now. Why did it spoil? I had no idea that meat can actually spoil. Well, peanut butter. Let's eat some peanut butter. Better than nothing. But yeah, I had no idea that food can here actually spoil. Gonna add more logs to my fireplace. Well, at least it's quite easy to get lots of wood. But where, oh, where could I find ore? Wait, maybe I have a bit different building. Let's go here and let's choose a workshop. Maybe I've stored some ore in the workshop. Here we go. There's the workshop. Let's place it over here. And I'm gonna hop inside of the workshop. And here I have... Oh, yeah, we have lots of ore. Here we go. Let's take uh, ore from that workshop. Let's hop inside of the shelter. And let's upgrade it to level 3. And now... We can learn more mobility skills, right? So, increases movement speed. Yes, I'm definitely gonna learn that. Learn one more time. Just beautiful. And I think it's morning now, so good. Let's pack this thing up. Let's pack the workshop as well. Because there's not much I can do. And that's it. We warmed up. And I can just continue my journey. I'm gonna take the spiked stick just in case if someone attacks me. And I still haven't seen a single iron ore. Because I need to get more iron ore to upgrade my workshop. And this way I'll be able to craft a bow. But I don't know how that works. Maybe you just have to keep chopping down this uh, stone ore or whatever that is. And then you'll be able to get iron ore. But I don't know. I've been chopping it for quite a while. I've gotten like over 100 ore. And I couldn't find a single iron ore piece. If that's even iron ore. Oh no, those boars are quite friendly. They're not super intimidating. They're a bit intimidating, but not super. Oh no! The wolfos though. The wolfos are very bad. I know two wolfos. That ain't good, that ain't good. Let's go to building. Let's try to build a shelter. Build a shelter faster, schmuck! Faster! And enter the shelter. Here we go, we enter the shelter. That's it. We entered the shelter. Good. That's the only way I know how to survive. That's the only way I know how to survive. You could probably maybe build a campfire, but that's gonna take longer time. So I could probably go to sleep right now. And when you go to sleep, it uses some... Yeah, 20 wood and 5 ore. So you can go to sleep and kind of restore your health. Because right now we are at 10 health. I had even less health. Oh, yikes. So now we to upgrade it to level 4. We will require to get some hides. Which I don't know how to get. Probably we need to learn like leather extraction here. Oh, you can even eat while you're sleeping. That's kind of weird. I don't know how that works. 
But I've just eaten some canned food <laughs> and I'm sleeping and eating at the same time. And I have more defense skill points, so probably increases chance of avoiding the stun effect. So I don't know, I'll probably learn those because why not? It's better than nothing. I have a defense skill point, so let's use it. Well, I'll try to leave this place then. Let's go to building menu, let's go to a workshop. And inside of the workshop, I could craft a bow if I had level two, but again, I need tendons. Well, I've eaten more canned food and I see those wolfos. Those wolfos are still roaming here. Well, for now, I'm gonna keep this thing, but I saw, wait, uh, more northern berries. But I saw some, a building here or whatever that is. Salvage scrap, I've gotten more scrap, and I just saw activate the radio station in the Harrington radioactive waste territory, what? are you talking about? How do I get there? So I have to go down there? Perhaps? There's an antenna on the roof of the bunker. That means there's a radio station inside. I need to figure out what to do. Wait. How do I get inside? Okay, so I entered here. I should have maybe taken my building because I kind of lost it. I lost my building. It's out there, but I had to build it to protect myself from those wolfos. So as of right now, I'm just gonna explore this place. It looks like, yeah, we have to activate the radio station. That's our mission. That's our main priority here. Okay, there's the trash can. I'm gonna loot the trash can. Maybe we're gonna find some useful food. Nope, just rot. <laughs> Not gonna take that. A card box and nothing inside of the card box. A small armory crate. Let's get it. Can I get some maybe guns? Does this game have any guns? Nope, except it has quality bandages. Just gotta take that. A broken flashlight. I already had one. I'll take another one then whatever. This place has lots of stuff to loot, so we're gonna check everything. I would love to seriously get like better gear. I need better gear, but I'm legit lost on how to get that better gear. As I need to find iron to upgrade that workshop and I haven't seen a single piece of iron. Here go another med kit. Yes, yes, baby. Take that med kit. No, 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 not over here. Here, but there's the med kit. Adrenaline syringe. Yes. Oh, except I'm full now. Well, I'm gonna check down all the northern berries. I'm gonna take adrenaline syringes. Oh, there's a machete, dude. We've just found a machete, so I'm gonna get rid of this stick because I don't really think that stick is useful. Let's try to get that machete. How cool is it? It does 14 to 21 damage. <laughs> We're gonna shred those wolfos. We will shred those wolfos. Okay, so what else could I find here? I think I've looted everything. Yeah, it looks like I've looted all the cabinets here. Okay. It's kind of dark. Wish I had a torch, but I don't have a torch, so we'll have to survive without a torch. But it is really dark. It's like low-key pitch blackness here. We found another card box, and inside of the card box, we're gonna get a portable heater. A makeshift heater used to warm you up as well as everyone else around you. Eh, maybe it's worth it, but it has only like three uses, and I'd rather just craft a campfire. <gasps> There is a boss up there! Are you kidding me? I have no idea, guys, if you saw that. But there is legit some sort of dude over there. That's that's a wolf. I don't know who that is, but that's someone. That was legit someone. Oh my goodness, this game has monsters. I didn't sign up for that. Here we go. Let's open up the door. It requires a key. So it looks like there's not much I can do, correct? I mean, I'm gonna take my machete. And let's try to go and fight that guy. I'll probably die. It looks like that dude is crazy. Well, I'll try to fight him and then I'll use a, a, a med kit in case if he attacks me. I don't know where that dude is. He left. He left somewhere. I probably shouldn't come here because, yeah, there's lots of toxic waste. Uh, collect data. You've obtained one of the decoder keys. Use N to activate it. What is it? What is going on? Let's open up the door unlocked. Where am I now? I'm somewhere else. This is so weird. Activate emergency transit. Okay, boom. So now we can travel probably between both of those bunkers, correct? Wait, I want to check this. Let's click on it. And uh, there's the hub, right? So I am over here in Harrington and there's the hub. So we can travel between both of those bunkers. That's what I thought. That's what this system does. Okay, that gets X approval. Okay, let's get out of here now. And could I enter this door? Because it looks like there's something here as well. A uh, warehouse key card. Yes. Yes. Is there anything else? Okay, more cabinets. Okay, just gotten some sort of a piece of cloth. I okay, can't even use that piece of cloth. I saw what happened on the lower levels, Henry. They're just gone. Uh, well, level two is basically still there, but level three is hell on earth. I could hear guys screaming. It'll probably be 20 years before anyone could go down there to recover their bodies. Okay, so probably he's talking about like that radioactive thing. Nothing here. Oh, two drawers. I almost missed those drawers. It's kind of weird. The camera angle is a bit weird. It takes time to get used to, in my opinion. More electronic circuits. Eh. 
Thank you, but no. I mean, I have a torch still here. I could probably use it, but I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. We're not going to take those electronic circuits. I'll take them a bit later. I'll take them later. Activate the radio station in the Harrington radioactive waste repository. So there's no way I'll be able to... Here we go. There's somebody there. You saw it. You saw that monster. It's like a werewolf or something. It's like a werewolf or something. Okay, there's another door then. System message. Okay, last received message a thousand days ago. Attention, all personnel, emergency evacuation. Okay, nothing useful here then. I'm kind of scared to go and fight that guy, but that's it. I'm brave now. Let's go, baby. Let's shred that dude into smithereens. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here goes the smithereens. Oh, but the cool thing is that we can use that emergency transit now, don't we? And I still have my machete with me. So, hey, 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 let's go. So here we go, there is that emergency transit, and can I go there? Over there to Harrington, call transit. <laughs> We're there already! With my dead body! With my dead body! Let's go there, and how much health will that guy have even? I mean, I obviously have to kill him, otherwise he will kill me. Unless I go and pick up everything super quickly. Attack him! Attack the die schmuck! One more time! Okay, so he has like only 10 health, so I'll come back here and I'll kill him next time. <laughs> but if you ask me, it's kind of weird. I wouldn't assume that this game is gonna have such strong monsters. And you know, it's like literally the beginning of the game. Why would they give such strong monsters here? I kind of don't agree with that. But again, what would I know? I'm just still a really big noob in this game. But it is kind of weird to see that they are giving like literally impossible to kill monsters in the beginning of the game. So here we go. There's the schmuck. Attack him! Die! Yes, finally I was able to kill him. I'm gonna pick up everything that there is. Everything that I got. Did he drop anything useful? I don't think so. Well, there's the first aid kit that I'll probably use right now. Here go, healed up. Hopefully we're not gonna find any more of those werewolves. I do think that you should probably craft a bow first. Oh, there's the huge mutant meat raw. A huge piece of raw meat terrible to look at. Uh, I mean, I'll keep it for now, but I'll... I'm not gonna eat it yet. So it looks like I lost some stuff. It says that I lost something, so I probably lost my flashlight. Yeah, because I don't see what's going on and I don't have a torch. Yeah, I lost my torch, I lost my flashlight. Maybe there is something here. Probably that's where we're gonna activate the radio station. Yes! Herrickton station status online, please remove keycard. Okay, so I've gotten a keycard. Find out uh, where the second power line goes. Okay, now we're gonna go to a second power line. And here we're gonna get more scrap. I think we're gonna get that scrap. Oh, can I open up here? Because open the door, I've gotten a keycard to the warehouse. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pipe wrench, energy bar. I'm gonna take probably everything. RD6 ammunition, what is that? I picked it up, but what? I'm gonna get rid of that mutant meat. I'll take canned food, because it looks like canned food is useful. Okay, so I've gotten quest items. I have a walkie-talkie, I have a genetically modified cucumber seeds and vapor three key card. Grant access to sea level. Okay, whatever. So I got a nice pipe wrench weapon, but I've also gotten some bullets, correct? Well, I picked them up, but I don't have them here now with me, so who cares? All I know is that it's time to skedaddle for us from this place, and we have to go now to a bit different uh, power line. So I went here, I looted it, so now we have to go to power line over there. Oh wow, that's gonna be quite a way to go back, but I think it's worth it. I think it's still worth it. Okay, 6 a.m. It's kind of morning outside. Now I just need to find where's that building that I've crafted. Because it should be somewhere here. Uh, where's my building? Where's my building, mate? Why don't I see it on the minimap? It would be so much better if I could see it on the minimap. Oh, no! Those woeful schmucks die! Oh, no, they're gonna kill me. Here go, one of them is dead. And another one of them. Please tell me I'm gonna be able to kill him. Adrenaline syringe. Use it. Here go, I use that adrenaline syringe. I'm probably gonna die myself because of that adrenaline syringe. I have no idea what's up. What's going on with my health. 21 health. But I used the adrenaline syringe. What happened with me? I used it. It didn't do anything. Well, I'm gonna use the quality bandage. Here, I've gotten some raw meat from those wolfos. Beautiful. But where is my shelter? Can I go and build it? Oh, you can build it from the beginning. After you die, it, it travels back to your inventory somehow. So I'm not sure how that works. But hey, <laughs> I'm gonna accept that. Oh no, Wolfo, stupid Wolfo, let me build it and go inside. Yes, at least that. Well, what I have to say is that health here in this game is a big problem. It's hard to find any of those wolves. You just keep dying. They just do lots of damage. Okay, so I have one more gathering skill. So I'm gonna get more inventory space. 
and more defense. So yeah, I'll learn more bleeding resistance and stun resistance. And offense, I have two more points. So I'm gonna get increases damage of melee attacks. Yes, I'm gonna learn that. I'll learn more mobility to run faster and hunting. I'll learn how to extract leather. Well, I somehow some way restored some health. I'm gonna exit and I'll try to attack this dude. Oh my goodness. Die schmuck! Die schmuck! Here, we're gonna get all the raw stuff and I need to craft a campfire real quick. But I don't have wood for the campfire. Here we go, getting more, more, more wood. Oh, yikes, this is so tough. This is tough, but that's what I like about this game. I mean, it does feel like a survival game. Here we go, let's craft... Uh, I don't know what I'm crafting. A campfire, right? Let's craft a campfire over here. I'm gonna start cooking that meat. Here we go, let's add logs and let's start cooking raw meat. How long it's gonna cook, I have no idea. But it should cook quite fast. Here we go, I think it just cooked. Here we go, meat cooked. I am going to eat it to restore my health and let's cook more meat. Can I cook two pieces at the same time? Nope, it looks like you can only cook one piece at the same time. So on level 7 here, after I upgrade this workshop to level 7, I'll be able to craft quality bandages. Which is alright, but dude, I can't even upgrade it to level 2. Well, I am kind of stupid! I just done some research, so it looks like you have to craft a furnace. Here we go, we're gonna put a furnace somewhere over here. And after that furnace, you put like 30 ore inside of it, and that's how you get iron ore. Or whatever that is, right? Yikes, I had no idea that that's how it works. Well, here, I'm gonna get back my axe, because I need to chop down more wood. And let's try to drop that 30 ore over there. Here we go, let's go to the furnace. How does it work? Do I just drop ore like this? Here, I dropped ore. So is it gonna cook? I have no idea how it works. But I started cooking just simple ore. It's nice that I've at least done some research. Otherwise, I don't even... I would never guess that you just have to cook simple ore. So our quality of life should change really soon now. Because I'm gonna upgrade the workshop so we'll be able to get better stuff like bows. And etc, etc. Here we go. I've gotten one gathering skill point. So I'm gonna hop inside of my shelter. And I'm gonna spend some... Oh, we can even get more offense. More on defense. More on gathering. And on hunting, we're gonna get... Yeah, leather extraction, why not? Beautiful, just beautiful. Did I get that iron? Yes, we've gotten the iron ore. So now let's get inside of the shelter and to upgrade it, I just need more ore. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking even more iron at that time because I'm pretty sure we'll require more of it. So here we go, I've gathered a bit more wood. I'm gonna get that iron ore. And yeah, to upgrade the workshop, all I need is just more ore. Well, here we go, I think I've gathered enough ore. All I can do now is hop inside of the workshop. Let's upgrade it to level two, baby. Yes, and now we can craft uh, wooden shoes. I can craft wooden armor, which I'll do probably. Yeah, let's craft wooden armor and wooden shoes. How do I equip them? How do I equip my gear? Oh, uh, where's my guy? Here, let's open up the backpack. I'm gonna equip the shoes. Boom, we got the shoes. And let's also now go inside of the workshop and let's craft wooden armor. It's gonna be so useful, at least something. Let's go here, let's equip that wooden armor. Wish somebody told me that long ago that you just have to cook that ore <laughs> to get stuff here. Now I want to craft bow, but for that I need tendons. And to upgrade this thing to level 3, I'll require more iron ore and some tendons, which we will do one day. And I've just gotten another gathering skill point. Let's go up here. And yeah, for gathering now, increases the amount of wood gathered. Uh, ore you can gather. Here we go, we're gonna increase the amount of ore that I can gather. So we'll probably try to equip a different helmet. So I'm gonna get rid of this deer hat. And helmet from 25. It goes to 30. Yes, we need to definitely equip that helmet. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it here. Let's get the helmet. But maybe with that helmet, I freeze faster, but who cares? Also, for this furnace, I can't even take it back. So just craft one furnace and that's it. And it's gonna stay here. All right. Understandable. Have a nice day. Well, it looks like another night is coming in. So I think I'm just gonna chop down more wood and I... I'll fight some wolves. Why not? I feel like that'll be a good idea. I'm just gonna add more logs. And I just need to aggro those wolfos. Those wolves only attack you when you least expect them, right? Well, here it's another day outside, so I think I'll just go somewhere there, back through the forest. I'll I'll get somewhere safer because as of right now it's all crazy. Oh no, that wolfos, I see him. I see him. I see the wolfos. Okay, so can I start fighting them? Well, I'll try to fight that wolfo then. Does he do lots of damage to me? Oh no! This was a lot easier. Let's get the bones. I should try to sharpen this bone. It might uh, make a good weapon. Yeah, whatever you say, boomer. 
Whatever you say, Boomer. How do I eat? Whatever, let's eat the canned food and let's get the raw meat as raw meat is more important. I'll be able to cook it a bit later. So yeah, as of right now, it's not that bad with armor. I can survive longer. Who would have thought, right, that armor <laughs> is important in the game? So on the map... Okay, I'm here. We still have to go straight. We still, we still gotta go straight until we reach, like, crossroads with... Uh, uh, with the power lines. Okay, so here we go. There are the crossroads with the power lines, and we will have to go the opposite direction, correct? We will have to go th there. Yeah, yeah, let's go here. Again, those wolfos didn't drop me any tendons. I'm not even sure if I learned how to get those tendons. I think I've learned a little bit. I'm not sure. And I'm at 68% off cold. Or whatever that is. Oh no, stupid deer. Can I attack him? I doubt it. Poor deer. Why would I kill him for no reason? Okay, so we still have to follow these power lines. Okay, so I'm full on northern berries, so while I'm here, I think I'm gonna craft like a workshop and I'll drop some goop inside of the workshop because I do have some space over there. Yes, indeed, we have two extra slots, so I'm gonna drop some chemicals. Yes, let's combine those chemicals and let's drop a pipe wrench and maybe even scrap. Yes, let's combine that scrap and that iron. Boom, let's pack it up now. Let's get some northern berries to eat them. And it looks like that somewhere here I'll have to take a turn. And that's where the second power line is gonna be. But before I go anywhere else, let's try to fight that schmuck. Where is he? Can I even see him? Stupid pig. No, no, take the... No, no, why don't you take your machete, idiot? Fight him with the machete, my guy is so stupid, not gonna lie. Super stupid guy. I was fighting him with the pickaxe, even though I was spamming X to change my to my machete. Okay, that dude is supposed to die really soon. Here go, finally he's dead. Well, it's blizzard now, so I think we have to craft a campfire. Yeah, yeah, let's craft a campfire. Hopefully it's not gonna get blown by the blizzard. Yes, here we go. Now we can start cooking meat. And we can gather more wood meanwhile. Oh wow, the blizzard just destroys the campfire, wow! Oh no, oh no, this is not good at all. This is not good at all. Just look at that. How long is the blizzard gonna stay here? We need an insane amount of wood then. Well, that's it, my guy's getting cold once again. I've gathered more wood. So I'm gonna start another campfire. And I'm gonna cook more meat meanwhile. Oh wow, this is not fun at all. Surviving in during the blizzards is stupid. Okay, we cooked another piece of meat. Let's cook the last piece of raw meat. And I think that's it here, go blizzard is gone. So blizzards don't last here for that long. Well, and night is coming in once again, so I'm gonna craft a shelter real quick because I think I've gotten some skill points perhaps. And yes, indeed, we have more gathering, so I'm gonna try to gather more ore. And uh, in offense, I'll do even more melee damage now. Oh, I still can't extract tendons because yeah, in hunting, yeah, I can't extract tendons. I haven't learned that skill yet. Oh, we can craft a healing salve. I had no idea. All I need is just to find like those northern herbs. I always neglected those northern herbs. I'm stupid. Here, let's pack up the workshop. Let's pack up the shelter. I'm gonna eat probably one of those energy bars just to restore some of my health. And I'm gonna get the machete and that's it. Let's go. Let's go into the adventure, baby. I should be able to fight most of the wolves now, unless they're gonna attack me, you know, like two or three wolves at the same time. That's when I have problems. But when it's like one singular wolf, it's pretty easy. That's it, I've uh, reached the end of the power lines. Have a night. Have a night. Here, there's the boar. I'm gonna attack the boar for no reason. Maybe he's gonna drop me some tendons. One more attack for the bow, that's it. I've gotten leather, bones, and tendons. Oh, I picked up everything from the ball uh, from that boar. Good. And I'll be able to craft my first ever healing salve. Let's go here and here. There's the healing salve. Boom, I just crafted it. So just in case if someone's gonna attack me, at least I'll be able to use that. Oh no, there's the wolfo. I'm gonna attack that wolfo then. Die schmuck. Okay, so this wolf didn't even have lots of uh, health. Why can't I kill him? Die schmuck. Here we go. More raw meat. Beautiful. Well, I see another wolf, so I'll probably attack him just to increase my... Whatever, okay, we increased my defense skill and my hunting skill, yes. Well, here it looks like it's morning, so let's continue my adventure, baby. Let's keep following the power lines. It gets really annoying to follow these power lines. They're like long, they, they're never ending power lines. Just the same task all over and all over again, mate. How much more do I have to go? Well, hopefully I chose at least the right power line, otherwise I'll have to go back. Oh no, Wolfo, stupid Wolfo. Well, I'll try to avoid them both, Wolfos. Here we go, gonna avoid them, gonna avoid them. No point to fight them. 
No point to fight them at all. Oh no, here we go. Those power lines go somewhere else now. Another turn. Another wolf -o. I hate these wolves. I spit on those wolves. <laughs> Why there are so many of them? This entire forest is just filled with wolves, mate. There are more wolves than snow particles. And activate Hydra 1 radio. Okay, so at least we came somewhere useful. At least I came somewhere useful. Okay, so activate Hydra 1 radio tower using the access key card. Did I get that access key card? Probably. How do I get inside, though? How do I get inside, mate? There's a bear! There's a bear, mate! Are they kidding me? Are they actually- Are they actually kidding me? Well, let's try to fight that wolf. Oh, this is a simple wolf. Oh, we should be able to put him to sleep sleep really soon. Okay, so I just stunt that guy. One defense skill point. Die. Here we go. Thank you for the tent. And now we'll be able to craft a bow. So let's go to a workshop. Let's craft a bow now. I have two tendon, tendons. Right, let's hop inside. Let's craft now my first ever bow, baby. Here we go. We have it. Now I need to just craft some arrows. How do I craft those arrows, though? There's a bone spear. No, no, no. We don't need a bone spear. Okay, so this is how you craft arrows. Bone arrows. Right, so here we go. Just wood. And other goop. Oh, you craft lots of them. Ooh. Ooh, so we have like 32 arrows now. Beautiful. I'm gonna try to probably restore my health. Here we go. Let's eat the meat. Let's eat everything. And how does the bow work? I'm gonna try to equip the bow. Here we go. Got the bow. And I'm gonna try to shoot maybe at least one arrow then. They say no ammo. So how do I load it? Oh. I know what what ammo he's talking about, so we have to switch it with arrows. And now I'll be able to use the bow, correct? That's how it works, and then you shoot. It seems goop, kinda. But maybe it will be easier to fight now, I don't know. Seems kind of really complicated on how to use the bow, which makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad, I'm just saying that it feels really complicated. I thought that it's one button and that's it. <laughs> but you have to aim yourself, like, what? Do I look like that kind of guy who, who knows how to aim? So I'm gonna warm up. And at the same time, while I'm warming up, I'll cook some more food. At least arrows aren't that hard to craft, correct? At least that's something. Okay, so let's search. How do I get inside and fight that bear? How do I fight my main bear, huh? So far, I see no entrance. Oh, there's the... Oh, no, there's no entrance. There's legit no entrance. There's legit no entrance. Oh, there's the entrance. And I'm pretty sure that dude is gonna start attacking me now, correct? Okay. Oh, wow, my mate! Go, 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 go! There's a black bear, too! There's a black bear, too! Let's go inside of the workshop. Was that a good idea to get inside of the workshop? Is, can he destroy the workshop? Um, I, I don't know. I think that was a stupid idea to go to a workshop. But it's blizzard outside anyway, so I'm gonna hide from the blizzard. And then we can fight that bear. I mean, did you see? We've done, like, what, 10% damage to him? Just with one arrow? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. We could probably also craft, like, this simple trap. But again, it's kind of complicated. There are so many, like, little things and everything is, like, so small in this game. It's really hard to, to do all of those things. I think it takes a little bit of skill and I'm not ready to do that yet. It's kind of hard to also switch between weapons. Sometimes I'm chopping down wood and then I notice that I'm chopping it down with like my machete or something when I clearly clicked X to switch to a different weapon. And here we go. I think the, the bad weather is gone. I'm gonna add more fire. Let's eat some meat. Even though it says it's spoiled, but it looks like I can still eat it. Yeah, it's fine. I can still eat it, even if it's spoiled. Also, after that, we'll be able to craft uh, padded leather armor. So we'll have to have the same leather armor that we have now. But we'll be able to improve it. That's beautiful. Okay, so here we go. There's the... Whatever boar, right? Let's try to attack the boar. I think it just hit the tree. Oh no, stupid wolfo. Stupid wolfo. I'm gonna add more logs. Can I attack the wolfo now with the bow? Here we go, the wolf is gonna attack me. They are really fast, like, what can you do with the bow? Nothing when they start attacking you. Nothing. Really nothing, probably. Well, let's attack this guy, then. They're scared of fire, these idiots. These dummies. I'm gonna die, I'm legit going to die if I don't uh, eat. Well, here, I've eaten up. I'll start restoring my health. What a dumb dumb. Just die, schmuck. Another shot, another shot. Thank you for the leather. Thank you for everything you've given me. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty tough to fight that bear, but I think it's still gonna be possible. Relatively possible, correct? I'm gonna pick up those fried mushrooms. I'll eat more meat. Here, I'm gonna restore my hunger. And there was the black bear. Are you kidding me? I don't wanna fight the black bear. Well, even though it's night, I still can go and aggro those bears, do a couple of shots and go back inside, right? There's no point to wait now, a couple of minutes. Oh no, there's stupid wolfo, huh? The stupid wolfo. Did I get that wolfo? 
Here we got one shot. The second shot. Yes, here we got two shots on the wolfo. And here guys, see that bear over there? Maybe I could damage them. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. Well, I am damaging them while well, they don't see me, so it's good. They will die one day. Here, I killed one bear. I legitimately killed one bear. There's the black bear, and probably black bear is a bit stronger. Oof. Does lots of damage, mate. The black bear does lots of damage. Lots of damage. A lot more damage than I would want to admit. Here we go. One shot on him. Here we go. Let's hop inside. <laughs> this is such a schmuck strategy. I don't even know how else would you call it. It's like a schmuck strategy. I'm gonna craft extra arrows. Well, I'll try to shoot that bear. Oh, no. It misses. It misses. Oh, no. It doesn't miss from here. Another shot and an... Yes! Killed one more bear. I'm gonna get all the tendons, all the bones. And there has to be one more bear for Shizzle Dizzle. There's gotta be one more bear here. Northern herb. Wait, do I go inside of this building? Can I? Yes, let's open up the door. And can I close it? Yes, let's close the door now. Yes, 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 yes. At least we've done something. Let's get this generator. This is Ice Axe. I've taken it. How much damage? 14 to 21. Okay, that's a good melee weapon. Now let's loot those lockers. Okay, all of them are locked. Not all of them. Okay, so one of them is open. And it was completely empty. Well, there's one more locker too. Let's open it up. And here we're gonna get some fabric. I think I should take all the fabric I see. Rubbing it on yourself increases significantly your coal resistance for a time. Well, I'm gonna use that fat... Just so that I can get more fabric. As it looks like fabric is gonna be really important in the future. Here go, let's... Uh, door is unlocked. Oh, we're going inside of the basement. We are inside of the basement, baby. I have no idea what that is. Activate emergency transit system. Oh, I see. I see it. Okay, so now we can travel to other places. Nice. So at least we won't have to travel on foot. So that gets Sykes approval. At least I won't have to travel on foot. Let's touch the emergency system. Okay, we can go to hub. We can go to this Harrington and then to Hydra 1. That's where we are. You know, here we go. It says locker locked, but it's clearly open. I can see that it's open. But they still say that it's locked. Okay, so we still have to activate the radio tower. Where is it though? I have no idea. Where is the radio tower? It's somewhere th there, here. Oh, I see. Here we go. There's the thing where we the, we can activate. Here we go. Activate the radio tower. Requires generator. I have a generator, mate. I have a generator. Here we go. I have the generator. Quest items. But I picked up a generator. Well, now I'm lost. I don't know how to get that other generator. Because to activate, here we go, this radio tower, it requires a generator, but dude... I think I used that generator to activate uh, the transit system, but it didn't tell me what. It's useless, I don't get it. Stupid, 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 triple time stupid. So here we go, there's the Hydra system, and I want to go back to my hub. Let's go there, and let's talk to that guy that's closed somewhere. I just don't remember, where is he? Somewhere over here. Here go the, the Scotty, right? And I'll try to give him like a pickaxe, maybe. Oh, I just unlocked another door! I've never been here! Nice! So, genetically modified tomato seeds. Yeah, let's get them. Uh, auto kitchen. What is this? Okay, so we can cook meat. Oh, so we can auto cook stuff. Okay, that gets Sykes approval. That gets Sykes approval. I knew that we haven't seen everything here. Refrigerator, so can't, here I could probably store my food and it's gonna last longer, correct? Hopefully, what else can I get here? Nothing, nothing. That's just like some sort of a cafeteria where people eat. Oh, this is not a cafeteria. This is where you grow stuff. So we're gonna plant my seeds. So this is my garden. Planted tomato seeds, more stuff. I don't even have to probably take care of that stuff. I'm just, I can just plant it and that's it. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. That's nice. So it looks like he will require armor. Let's try to send this leather armor. It won't last longer without food. Oh no, my guy is getting hungry. Here we go. Let's eat it. Here we go. That's better. Let's go here and let's try to send him armor then. Oh, here we go. He takes armor. Let's send it. Did I get something better? And he gave me a flare gun. Alright. Can I send him back the flare gun? Nope. But thank you for that, mate. Thank you very much. I'm gonna try to send him uh, these boots then, maybe. Here, go take the boots. Oh, no. He doesn't want to take boots from me. Cool. Spit on Scotty. 
Well, at least thank you for the flare gun. Better than nothing. And if you would like to see more of the Wild 8 videos, smash that like button on the video. So I highly suggest you checking out my No Man's Sky Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Long Dark Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.